Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, so you woke up this morning or you just realized, uh, went to your WordPress site and this is what you're getting when um, you try to log in to your uh, dashboard or you're trying to uh, watch, uh, just trying to go to the website and that's what you get. So um, basically uh, what this means is your, your files are corrupted and I got that think I got a virus and I did a search and this is uh, what I came up with and, and basically those are the steps that I followed pretty much um, the um, result uh, I mean the solution is if you have that problem um, go to your uh, FTP client or your file manager if you have like a cPanel solution or um, if you like to use your uh, FTP client go to your uh, main files of your WordPress installation you don't have to touch your database select all the files in there there's two files that you need to leave uh, because um, uh, they can they, they uh, have all your content like your pictures and a bunch of stuff and the WP config has the configuration file always back up all your files before you delete all this just in case so just delete all these files except the w-config.php and w-content uh, folder those two are going to stay um, what we're just basically gonna do is delete all this and um, install new fresh WordPress files you can also do this when you have a when you have a corrupted uh, file structure or you got a virus like probably that's what I have so basically you delete everything and uh, I already got a I already have a, uh, a zip file that I made with all the files uh, on the WordPress version that I have uh, you can use you know you might have 4.62 you might have 4.98 that you just got to go I'll show you what you need to do to look up the um, f uh, WordPress version that you have so Pretty much all I did was take out the content folder and made it into a zip file. Um, basically, I'm gonna grab that zip file, drop it in there in the file manager or the FTP client. Uh, once it's in there, then I'm just gonna extract all the files in there, and it should um, it should start working. So um, the um, other thing I wanted to show you was um, let me just extract this real quick. The way you you figure out your uh, WordPress version is you go to the WP dash includes folder, and then um, you go to uh, you go to the uh, you go to a version uh, version file, and then you can yeah you, you sh I should have done this before, but I already knew because I already had done it. But you should you should you, you should do this so that you don't have any issues I don't think it's going to create any issues but um, you want to you see I have 4.98 that's the version that I have and that I had in um, that's the version that I downloaded you can just download it from wordpress.org um, and it should work now that should have fixed it okay this is just a test site that I'm, I'm helping somebody with um, that's it thank you very much guys appreciate it uh, if you liked the video if it helped you let me know in the comments if uh, it didn't don't let me know anything just don't watch it so uh, if you liked it subscribe thank you very much this is Pete from likemytech.com signing off